Welcome to Storage Connecticut as we honor Pat Summit and her continued impact on women's college basketball, both on and off the court. We are at Gamble Pavilion where 11-time national champion UConn plays host to Tulane, trying to extend the longest winning streak in basketball history to 93 games. Our officials today are Bob Enterline, Carla Fountain, and Karen Prieto, and UConn wins the tip. See multiple looks from them defensively. And Defisa Collier, she is the seventh most accurate field goal shooter in the country. And the first foul was on Collier. OEM has won those 11 titles. Oh, they worked on that throughout the shoot around today. And when you talk about moving the basketball and not putting it on the floor unless necessary, Connecticut gives you a clinic in how to do that. Leads the American Conference in that category. Low block Williams around the Jarvis. Unique about the competitive nature between the two programs. I think that the, the level of respect was equal to the level of uh, hatred that was there between the two programs. There was always so much on the line uh, that the players, uh, you know, they did not like each other when they were on the floor, but when they left school or the summer or whatever, they had so much respect for one another. I think alluded to valuable that you had a chance to face them in the regular season. So those teams that get a chance to play Connecticut and you talk to players and coaches that are and Williams both stay on the floor with two fouls each nurse for three. She's second or third in the American in three point percentage. Exceptional year as Morgan scores. This is nurse. They leave her wide open again. Kia Nurse is so good at finding offense and in transition. Watch right here how she's going to pass and go to the corner. And all Sanaya Chong does is draw the D just enough to allow Nurse to set her feet. She went the back door route, then was surrounded by the trees. And here's Samuelson, two on two the other way. Katie Liu has added this part of her game right here. She comes up with the steal right on the elbow and then watch the left hand dribble all the way down the floor, avoids contact and finishes. Nobody stops the basketball for Tulane and you have to divert her, make her shift and change direction, not allow her a straight line drive. Nurse with the steal drives on the much shorter board ball there on Monday, the 13th of February in a big Monday game on ESPN. Samuelson knocks it down. Down by seven at the end of the quarter, now down nine. You can see that they're doing a better job. When you get an open shot, you have to make it, but you have to have the right people taking shots. Into the post, Williams out to Sanders. Huskies up 11, looking for their 93rd straight win, and Collier connects another timeout for Lisa Stockton. It's one. 92 straight. And Tulane has not missed at the free throw line, which is really important if you're going to stay. Butler down low to Williams. And Collier. The steal, Samuelson ahead to Nurse. But Butler will pull down the rebound. Quickly up the floor to Samuelson. The runner. Said she had these skills last year. She could score, but she deferred a lot because there were three really good players on the court at Connecticut. He's going to inbound it. You got time for four dribbles here. One, two, three, four, five, and a shot. And she gets it off. <laughs> Fouls. And Tulane will start in the zone. They get Katie Lou inverted to the block with her size. He with 20 points with an entire half left. Collier, ball fake, and the foul. She is capable of making plays. Samuelson cuts for the hoop, tough catch, and another basket. To work. And you watch Katie Lou Samuelson do a good job right here on the cut. Just a nice backdoor look. If you don't jump to the basketball. Williams puts it on the deck. I mean, there's not many players that can make a post move. The ESPNW National Player of the Week last week. Head fake and a layup for Collier. You have that kind of contact with the broadcast table three, four times. Well, I'm usually time. posting up over here, that's for sure. Sanders in with another three. It's like, it's fun to watch. Sanders in after missing her first four is now 10 for her last 13. 
See, she's right here. She's trailing that play, looking for another three. Great pass from Butler to Collier. Range jump shot off it. Collier, kick out Nurse, wide open three. And she knows three places on campus. The gym, the classroom, <laughs> and her dorm. Look at that. Two dribbles past midcourt to the rim with her left court. Yeah, another steal, and Nurse can't hit, but Butler yanks down the rebound. Has been. He and his wife, Kathy. Well, the University of Connecticut certainly has been the benefactor of that generosity over the years. He's I summed it up very well for all of us. We all know how much Pat cared about the game and about the people in the game. Williams puts it on the floor. That's why Gino Oriema calls her the most athletic player in the country. That is unguardable. Going on this long streak since. Watch this move right here. Bang, one dribble. Andy, so when the players come here, they realize, look, it's not like there are any other options other than West. That's right. UConn has played eight top 25 ranked teams already. Sean with the layup, they beat. Watch the Mississippi State South Carolina game. That is going to be outstanding as well. Irwin with the rebound back by Wyatt. No good. And that'll do it. So the winning streak is now 93 for UConn.